ends up one map in the series. Look at the start. Their EPL run with a best of three victories. Zunpai is going to lead the way in middle. Madden falls and takes some damage. What is this nifty little boost to get a smoke set up quickly? The smoke is actually sweet. Yeah, let's see if it is, Jason. Yep. Gonna land over towards that A-bomb site real deep in there. Give some space over towards middle. A very efficient smoke. Here it comes, piling through. They don't jump all the way around the boost. They go towards CT spawn. Valda, there's now a crunch. Joko and Body have a crossfire, but they need the kills. They need them right now. Joko falls back, which leaves Body all on his own. He's able to grab two. Almost a third, but runs out of bullets. d can't handle the duelies. And then quickly, Ents responds. Mad gonna rotate around. Smoke still covering off the reconnect from CT in toward the site. Jax is certainly ready for it, but they aren't gonna head that way at all. The doolies, baby. Gonna be Love running it. Yeah, well, Wee's an interesting choice of word, Jason. But the bomb is gonna be planted. Snappy's gonna run away back over toward the scaffolding, get the reload in. And then go back for more as he covers with his teammate. Watches this teammate go down, but he's ready for Jax. Okay, we might the have kit. the duelies. He's got the kit on the ground. You're absolutely right now. He doesn't have the information as to where Exercise is, but it's going to be a 10-second defuse unless he goes straight for battle. And now he's watching that kit. Shoulder peak sees it. Doesn't need to go for more. He has conceded the kit, however, and that means he's got to close the gap. Try and get ever so more annoying. And he'll do that with sound. Ball continues to take. Doesn't even matter. Duel is going to find three in the round, Jason. Hell yeah, it is. Well, two kills once Snappy picked it up, but I think it actually got not one on the CT side as well, so you might be right at the end of the day. Might have been it's three old not an it, it's a day. <laughs> Perfect. Many days. Well, nice win. That's a cool clutch as well for Snappy. Uh, he essentially stops playing the bomb. He's actually just playing the kit at, at this point, and then once he picks it up, he knows exactly where the last player is, able to play that one to one versus one to perfection, and it's one to nothing for Ents. Which is great, because they didn't get a pistol on him, those two. No, they did not. Um, not that they necessarily needed it. Stack up over toward B this time. Joko in the corner, waiting for the utility to be thrown. Three players beside him, and then one in the back lines in the form of body. So it's an open A site that will soon be discovered. Yeah, and it's a very sad round for Heat, who is lined up for a pot flash over towards B stairs. Obviously saw absolutely nothing. So Valdo watching the flank, looking like he wants a chance to stat pad. Galil in hand, no armor on his opposition. Easy first kill on exercise. And even going to back away, find a new angle. But he hears the footsteps, takes a shot to the face. This is awkward. There's no stat padding when you clumsily shuffle between nades and weapons. Can happen to the worst of us. Jack's gonna climb back up the ladder quietly, try and get better positioning with that. Galili has recovered. Body still waits as well toward mid door. That bomb continuing to tick and talk, but not the app because that's for 12 year olds. <laughs> Taking it if I would TikTok now, huh? Hey man, at least they might respond on like customer service with uh, Instagram, so. <laughs> Two to nothing for Ents. Weapons in hand as well, although Aglil was passed over to Jax, so he's going to have a little bit of excess cash in the bank after his buy. He'll keep the Galil. And he's going to get a gun round going into third. This was weird from Valda. Oh, we don't get to see it. Well, either way, we get Ents back to back and guns out early. For heat on the CT sides. No helmet for exorcists, the rest of them do. We limited on utility. So they're trying to go aggressive. Afro tagged. His feet getting flamed as well as he has to fall back off of it. Manages to get away given the smokes that are down, but going to where the sandbags is a desperate position to be and he'll slide right by knowing that utility could easily go his direction. Try and go for this boost. They call it off. Yeah, body's had enough of that. Gonna go for a little bit of an information peek. Snappy is here, waiting. There's the peek quickly. Good job from Body. First and opening kill is his. Ooh, tagged up Madden as well. Body's gonna clean it out at the end of the day, but Sun Pies trades him off. I believe they even spotted Afro. He's been brought down to 32, so they know two players were peeking at Scaffold. And now gonna start pushing up the ramp slowly. There's a flank coming in. Jojo's Joko. Jojo. Joko's cut this map in half. Are you a Jojo fan? I don't even know who Jojo is. Singer? 
Sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. Lannis Morset, Jojo, Afro. <laughs> he has gone down to his hands this time with the M4. Jax, oh yeah. Oh dear. Time. Take your time, son. On a platter, Volda goes down. Joko's got some pies. Not before he could fight a kill, so it will be a little bit of an economic disgrace that they lost a third gun, but they'll get the kill nonetheless, and it is going to be two to one. Two to one, good lead, but a good first gun round for Heat. Let's see if they can sustain. This is where it's going to be helpful that Jax kept that Galil, because even though he falls as a third player, he's still able to kind of refresh all of his utility and get an M4 in hand, so still a very solid buy for him. Not missing anything at all, really. Good round, good openings provided by Body at A ramp. Here we go again, round number four. Both teams pretty much out of cash after this buy, so this is a pretty influential round for the early goings of the opening half on Vertigo. Hence is gonna be light on utility throughout this round. Flashbang to allow them to peek around the corner. Jax ready and waiting on top of the sandbags. Molotov, rather incendiary to be specific, over the top of the mid window, trying to slow them down. But Madden's already gotten inside CT. He can contain and actually take out the brain of Joko as he runs back that direction. Tech 9 was certainly at the ready, and now they'll swing, rotate, and flank onto the A side. Body knows he's in trouble, so he'll hold reverse position from. Oh, I think his gun barrel would have been spotted. I was going to say from the crane, but I think Dia was certainly ready. They dink each other. Body comes out better for it because it was through the edge of the I-beam that you can see just in front of him. So he sits on 47. Oh, it's off, or excuse me, Nade doing a little bit further damage to him, but Snappy's got Jax. I think they'll back off of this on the CT side. Body is... has to be very careful about how he chooses to do so. Ooh, going for a little bit of fight here at the end. He knows he can't escape, so he's fighting to his death. Gonna be dropped from behind, and even though Diha goes down, there's no real chance at victory in this for Heat. So he's gonna grab the AK-47 and try and run away, but Snappy again has been lurking in middle, so he's here to cut this off and wins the fight at the end of the day. It's three to one. This is actually a pretty interesting round. This is twice now, including the pistol round, that Ants is attacked towards middle, but they're not really messing and trying to wrap around that B bomb site as usual. They're attacking towards CT spawn, attacking towards A, and that's gonna be really difficult for Heat to kind of deal with. This is twice now that it's actually worked as well. So if you're Heat, the next time this comes in, you better start having a plan for what, what, what you want to do when the next mid-attack comes in. Skylight's blown out as per every round. Close position for Exorcist. The flash that went over top did catch him out before he could get a counter peek in toward the stairs, but it wouldn't have amounted to much. And had his teammate have gone more aggressive, it actually just would have given them away based on sound. So contentious positioning, bodies. And an interesting one boosted up inside middle, but they'll concede that and fall away from it. In fact, they're going to rotate those two players at mid over toward A. I have to say, so far, Entz has utilized mid very well in splitting the map. This time, they won't need to clean and concise onto the B sites. Already working out around the, the catwalk position is Volda, passing quad, and M4 staring down anyone who dare try and rotate in, including Body, who has the deagle and the pre fire, but he's on the flank. And is about to get flanked as we watch. Don't go down, it's Madden that's quickly on his heels. This is where Snappy can actually start to be really, really dangerous and deadly as an in-game leader as well, when you've kind of established some of that success in towards middle, and now you've kind of just kind of done a dry walk up the B stairs. Yeah, it's against an anti-eco, but you're showing a bunch of different tactics in these first five rounds that are being played. At least three different openings between a ramp pressure, mid pressure, and now B stairs pressure that the defense is going to have to contend with. So Pius wants that kill, comes back for it, and he's going to get it. Four to one, three round lead for Entz. What if he just actually is named Sun Pay Us because he hasn't been paid by this guy named Sun for a long time? <laughs> yeah. So he's just like putting it in the name, you know? And hoping somebody notices. Yeah. That's a good point. Early days of esports, you know, no one ever got paid. <laughs> we call those the good old days. <laughs> Is that what we call them? <laughs> Can think of a few other words. But... Yeah. Utilities out. Here we go towards a ramp. D Molotov behind the sandbags. Snappy with the Mac 10 waiting for his moment. Afro is going to be on the other side of the smoke. Tense and dangerous. Afro might be forced forward. Snappy's trying to pull him into the magazine. Still just waiting. I don't think they have any clue. 
smoke starts to dissipate, though, and the vision reveals he's only good for one. Sampaius is actually got the kill in return. He now works with Madden to try and boost him up on the sandbags. Clear close corners at the ramp. Nades a whole lot of utility, including two flashes thrown high in the sky behind them as they swing, but it actually caught them out. The second one was thrown too soon. Madden gets blinded. Sampaius has gone aggressive, though. He'll double it up. And it is a two-on-two -two situation. Vold is going to try and recover the bomb inside of the smoke. Desperately, Dia to spray and cover off the plants as his teammate gets it down. He's going to win out against Jax, who goes up onto the headshot position. Exorcist trying to slide his way forward. He might go around. Does he have the time to do this? He doesn't have a kid. Does he go all the way around scaffolding to take out sandbags? Because he knows there's a player in the back line. Smoke tonight is fake. And the aim for Valda too concise. And it is going to be another kill to be 5-1. to one. Yeah, that's well done. Volda having to pick up the bomb inside of the smoke. That's a tough battle for Heat to lose. Great entries provided. By Deha, I believe it was, after Madden had gone down, peering towards, nope, Sun Pius. He's the one who actually clears out that position, open up the bomb site for Valda, even though he goes down immediately afterwards. That's well done. New additions today for Rents having a, having a good day. Sun Pius with, with some impact, if not the volume. Valda, I think, ended dust too with, what, like 25, 26 kills, something mental like that. So new players are, uh, are enjoying this debut. First time out used by Heat. They've got a decision to talk over on what kind of a buy they want to come out with. I think it's... Maybe a half investment, drop down to some deagles and armor, some P250s or five sevens. Maybe some dualies if you want to get if you want to get weird. Yeah, I like to get weird. I just don't know if dualies are the way I like to do it. That's fair. It's not for everybody. The Dutch dualies. Because there's two of them. Yep. So it's deagles instead. Jax trying to throw some utility. Body's going to go very aggressively through metal. In fact, gets toward the ladder room. I like to go down that ladder, though. Double nades, clearing out sandbags. Deagle's on the board, but no armor picked up for the CT side, just on body. Madden's already challenging, and he's saying, it's pretty clear. They're playing at a distance, and I love that with an AK-47. Takes Jax's head clean off. Snappy's gained a lot of space, a lot of ground, is able to double up. And there's Madden with another, and that's the round over. Yeah, indeed it is. No exorcism gonna save Exercise right now as he goes down to Volda through the edge of the box. Six to one. And it continues to be a fairly one-sided event so far on Vertigo. Yeah, good, good T-side opening for Mets. I, I mean, I kind of mentioned it, just so many looks they've already thrown at Heat. And then, you know, especially with such a new lineup, I think what this Heat team only has something like, like, I think it's like right around 10, give or, give or take a couple games played together. It's going to be really, really difficult to make those adjustments on the fly. Good turn from Afro from the op, but nobody's challenging behind the flashbang. Valda, but he gets traded out. Snappy's able to find that in exchange. Madden's in a bit of trouble here. He's trying to scurry away from damage being dealt consecutively to him. Afro's been bypassed, and that's going to favor him because smoke goes down through the smoke. Or excuse me. Yeah. Shadow goes down through the smoke. Sure. But uh, you got what I meant as <laughs> he pushes forward, knowing that the first kill meant he likely would have had become a target. Like when you said hand feet. That was weird in the last game. Uh, hand Three on what? four. <laughs> First grenade? <laughs> Snappy moving up, low HP. Here comes the utility. Two players to defend. Oh, good boost. Good opening kill. Now Exercise needs to hold on. Exercise needs to hold on. Gonna hold the site desperately with that M4. Gets the first shot. Snappy actually took damage from that. I'm sure I heard the dig despite not a lot of red showing up on the HUD. Boost himself up with the double box as well to try and see further down that stairwell. He was panicking. He just did a whole utility dump and it worked. Snappy and Sun Pius backed off. Oh. Final nade connects. 1v3. Pius just holding it out 30 seconds. AK wants to peek catwalk. Doesn't want to walk off the edge. Just trying to see if anything can reveal positions at this point. And go for the bags jump to get up higher in the site. Sooner finds the first on the body. Some pious. Now, does he expect that there's going to be two towards catwalk? He doesn't. That was the peak he was looking for the first time around, but had no idea there was a second player there. So it is the second round for Heat as a result. Yeah, a lot of angles you have to clear as well. You got to take some risk somewhere in that kind of a scenario. So good win from Heat. Just barely holding on. Two players survive, which isn't ideal, but 
Man, this very easily could have been a lost round. Diaz on a long route to the ground. Or snappy, excuse me. Look at that. Peace. 51 floors, I think we um, found out that it was, but according to someone's math, I mean, I gotta find that thread again. Yeah, someone did the math. It's like basically every floor is an average of 21 feet or something based on the fall time. And yeah, tall ceilings. Crazy, yeah. It's very Nerds out there that like doing math for fun. Fancy towers here on Vertigo. Just kidding, it's a really cool thread. Ooh, jump up as well. Good find on Exercise. Good find on Jax as well. Double entry for Entz. Make it a triple. And the round's done and dusted. That's super fast. You finally win one. You get some guns in your favor. You've got an AK and an M4 still in play. I think you're probably looking to save at this point, so Madden naturally goes on the hunt. This is and he's gonna get Afro. Oh, snapping Jesus. back too. Not even just getting him, but getting him in style. I know, making it look easy. That's brutal. This is some calling that. This is some typical snappy calling. Changes of pace, a lot of different looks. It's really keeping this defense on their toes. Seven to two, five round lead now for Entz, and money again an issue for the Heat side of things. They're gonna be all out. Madden goes down, but you can see Entz. They want this weapon. Converging on this location, Sun Pius is going to get it. Immediately take back charge of the game at 7 2. AWP picked up for Sun Pius. So you've like mentally wrecked yourself into calling him Sun Pius. Definitely was intentional, <laughs> man. Just like that time I called Tim Stewie in the food line. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no. You hate to see that. So, hey, it's gonna be... Okay, now I have wrecked myself. Yes, you have. I don't know why you brought that one up. Sun piss. <laughs> Someone told us that was how it was said once. We'll just keep going with all of them here. Snappy. Clearing already, in fact. They've already got sandbags covered off. Minute 30 to go. Smoke, close, catwalk. Afro is going to get absolutely annihilated by that nade. Still did damage to Snappy, but not enough to really report any deaths against the ensuing terrorists. This is some place is able to get down Jax as well, and I think the round's pretty much done here. Exercise again, just going to be rotating all the way around. These these defenses are scrambling so much to try and close the gap that they that they're just getting wrecked by the utility for men's like they're, they're like trying they're like okay this guy died I need to shift here and, and in transition they're just getting caught by so much flashbangs as they're trying to to solve so many problems at the same time none of it's working six round lead for Entz. This is unfortunately not uh, the debut at EPL that Heat would have wanted. Shake this one off, get back into the server tomorrow. Remember, they have qualified for the RMR as well, so they'll be back here in Malta in three weeks, although I'm sure they'd like to be back in two weeks for the yeah. final of EPL if they can get maybe they might maybe maybe you just stay right maybe just hang I, out you know what I don't think they are just based on the fact that I was talking to body and he said we would like you know the RMR they weren't even sure they, they were like are we back here I was like well uh, yeah I think <laughs> so. like, we are so you should be like but I think more than anything um yeah I would have expected them to do that if they know they're going to be here boot camp with some of the teams not in your group at EPL you're a great scrim team therefore for teams that are already here um, and you can, you can, yeah, like you say, use it as a boot camp, get, get the team on the same page, be in the same room, and... But that, that obviously comes at a cost. When you're not actually playing the tournament, you're expected yep. to cover that yourself, and they're a newer team and organization, and therefore, uh, that may not have been on the cards for them. And, you know, it's a quick, quick flight home to France. Nothing too crazy. Back to mid we go. Three players. Valda in support to activate Snappy and Diha turning the corner first. Sun Pius waiting patiently with utility. Hello. Where's this, bad, where's this bad boy going? Don't know. Let's get on nade watch on that one. Ooh, great counter flash. One for one. There's the Molotov. Cheeky. That is a bit cheeky. Yeah, not too bad at all. Bouncing over and covering off the corner. But either way, the bomb low on HP. I say low on HP, snappy actually on 100, so excuse me, forgive the red circle around the player as well as it misleads, but Exercise is going to take down Sunpass, it's Jax that actually gets snappy back, so it's the round two.
Heat, their third, eight to three. They're keeping themselves somewhat in this, but again, it is CT side. Vertigo and Ents are still in a great position economically. Yeah, wonderful position. This one just gets disrupted. This one, they're slowing things down, a slower pace to it, and eventually Heat just want to find out what's happening and go for a pop flash peek, so just the timing not there. You can see Madden maybe a little bit frustrated, maybe a little miscommunication between him and some pious with that Molotov. And timeout's going to be taken by the end side of things to talk things over and make sure they stay on the right track. It's an interesting one, their map pool being a new team. Their, their best map as a team is actually CS 747 because at this rate, they're going to be flying home. Nice. You're bringing all the gold today. It's only day one map. We got I'll call a couple out. weeks. I should have saved that one for G2. Yeah. Sorry, right, I'm just seeing if I still got it, Jason. <laughs> oh, you do. I don't know. A little rusty, but we'll get there. This isn't back yet. We'll find <laughs> out. Here we go. Some aggression behind the smoke. Down a ramp. Afro. How frisky does he want to get? Very close to the corner. Gets one as the smoke's gone, but he can't find a second. He fully committed to it, and D is able Ooh. to slide out and easily take him down as he's occupied. Good nade. A lot of utility damage onto both Madden and Dia, and that's going to make things a little easier for Body as he finds Snappy as well with a headshot through the smoke. Yeah, he does wonderful work in the follow-up. Great damage, as you mentioned, with a nade, with a little bit of spam as well. Finds himself a kill even though blind. Four on three advantage for Heat. Last time they had this kind of a man advantage, they went back and went back and attacked in a deficit towards the B bomb site. They were stopped cold. This time they're gonna progress along the scaffold. Tag onto body softens the defense. They still have to deal with sandbags. There is a Molotov on Sun Pius, but again, that's gonna give away the control you're going for. And he double scopes to look at the feet and get shot in the head. Go with it, Body. Follows it up, so they're pulling this back, Dia. All on his own, he's got Choco down, but he's unaware of the fact that there is a player waiting with an AWP, it's Jax. He's got the shot, eight to four. Still, by virtue of such a dominant half for Mans, so they still have so much money, so another buy coming in, nothing easy for Heat at the moment. This is now, what, two straight that Heat have won? They need to keep going with it, probably need, might even need four victories before they're gonna get to any kind of a real significant save. So two in a row, the best they achieved on Dust 2 was actually three rounds in a row. Sick. Second half late. Okay, but don't rub it. I'm just trying to make a point, Jason. <laughs> they can get something going earlier this time. We're almost there. Madden and Snappy, but Afro getting aggressive. He's on the rifle this time a lot more. Remember in the first map, he was obviously the one that was holding on to the AWP. We're seeing Jax wield that on Vertigo. I wonder if that was something they discussed between games that Afro just wasn't comfortable with, and he's not comfortable in that position. There, the Afro getting shaved up close and personal by Madden, but Body gets the recovery as he slides out. That was a double take. Hey, oh, that is you. He's, he's, yeah, he's hidden when he's crouched down when he peeks up. That's a tough fight to win. That's really well done from Diha. That is not an easy fight to take and, and win. Exercise going to start taking liberties and pushing up. So is Snappy. He gets dropped down. Three on three. And this round is really chaotic. I don't think anyone has a great read of what's occurring across the map. Exercise, though, this timing might be perfect. Oh, it will be. At least for one. The rest of them turn the corner, but that is the bomb drop, so they know everything that's happening. Some bias blinded as he goes for the repeat. Bias still looking for more. Goes back the other way. Vald is able to get Jax. He's trying to support him, but Vald doesn't need that. Exercise again all on his own. Is going to climb up the ladder and he's, look for another approach. He's got time to do this as well. He, he's basically saying, I'm going to give up the bomb. I know you guys are going to be very cautious. Take your time coming down this ramp to come get it. That's going to give me time to wheel all the way around and have a new angle. They're going to know it, though, because he doesn't repeat when they go for it. He's going to no make noise. He's going to be aggressive, but Sun's getting paid today because he's got the shot on Exercise, and it's now going to be 9-4. to four. That could have been incredible. Yeah, that's a bold call in the 1v2, trying to take him by surprise. Sun Pius, not fooled at all. I think the issue is that he had to go so far that even though Vold is planting in that situation, he calls the damage from the Molotov. Yeah, look, Sun Pius is like, okay, I'm ready. And he's just set and ready. Queued up, takes the shot. I'd love to see that, that 
round from Body's POV there towards the end. I wonder if Volta dropping off the top box on the default plan box has actually kind of obscured him from vision from Body, forced him into an awkward repeek. Either way, desperate times for Heat. Down five, out of money as well after this, and an opening death. Madden gonna turn the corner. Nade towards Sandbag's gonna eat one of his own, but he's got a little bit of information of the trajectory of that nade. Body falls instantly. Dia steps up to the plate. That means Joko's gotta back away and concede. Snappy getting out done. Joko actually getting a best position on that MAC-10, but Dia's already overrun him. It's exercise of Jax again, left in a two versus four. And it looks like a 10 to four scoreline, most likely at this point. They'll try and save guns for the last round. $100 and $50, respectively. About 150 for the Heat Gaming team as they'll go into the last round of the half. Yeah, it's not gonna be a pretty buy in the last round either. I mean, you said it, they pretty much needed the four just to build up and get going in this, but yeah, economically not possible. Well, the good thing is, if you're Vlad Maui at the moment, your your scoreline predictions are still in a pretty nice spot. Eight for eight for Vlad, nine for Maui. It's, it's right there. Got to be feeling good. No, absolutely. I get when you're an analyst, you got to look at those small victories as some way to get through the day. <laughs> so that definitely matters for them. Good to see them having fun, though, I think. Um, lifting weights? I do like... They are lifting weights. Eating I steaks? do like that, uh, you know, with Blay and Paula on the desk, Maui went the whole other way and was like, right, I'm getting a buzz cut. Yeah, he did, didn't he? I didn't yeah. even think about that. The inverted... It's gone the other way. Yeah. I don't want to be a part of this. Ooh, reverse spam from Diha is magnificent. That's Jax going down. And they're just going to follow it up, march right into this bomb site. Exercise realizes it a little bit late. He's got nowhere to go. He's got no reinforcements, but he also has Dia. Actually, excuse me, that's Jax who's able to blind Dia. So a little bit of reinforcements allows him to survive over at the generator. Nade coming out. SFG along the wall. Transfer from Snap. He isn't there, but Exercise is brought down so low. And Joko's cut off in middle. And's going to back off this as well. Exercise. 27 HP, smoke to hold. Oh, don't walk too far back, he's got just a gap. I thought on our camera angle that that Molotov was too close to his feet for that, but he gets away from it. Sampaia's still holding to try and cover off the site directly. They're just trying to play the patient game. They're just, they want Heat to make the mistake. They want the time to be pressure. 45 seconds still left in the round. A lot of time for Heat to play without information and Ence is counting on a peak at some time soon. Afro so far away, does at least catch off Volta, that's the flank. Now they know they've got to get aggressive because they're going to be coming from CT and Exercise. Concedes the site directly. Maiden, this is a decent spot to be in. It's a tough one because if you come over from window, you're locked out there. But you can control the situation from CT and they're both going to go over. He's going to hear this if they're not careful. If they make one wrong move, dropping down, it's got to be silent, but he gets away from the Molotov. Tagged to 20. Some bias is left on 22. A chance. Exercise. You said it. He was going to try and play this time. The mistakes have not been made. They've actually come in very well, but some bias finding the shot through the edge of the box. Afro still has 100, but now the pressure's on because it's off versus off. Afro's got the kill. Does he have, time, Does he have no. the time? He doesn't. No kit and play. He's got to run. He picked it up late, and it's going to be a 11 4 scoreline for Entz. Yeah, great dominant team. Have. Great calling from Snappy. He ran this defense all across the map. 11 to 4. Ents look at a 2 0 heat. We'll find out if they can do it when we come back from the break.
future pros took a lift to the top of vertigo to show you a chunky double he setup you can throw into mid on vertigo you will need two future pros and two he's for this one future pro number one make your way into the front corner of connector aim at the right dot on the left panel and jump to the he that's some good damage but we can do more future pro number two Hop up onto the wooden panels and aim just inside of the top right corner of this orange mesh. Then just throw the HE. This can be extremely annoying for any T's who want to get a head start on mid control. The faster you throw these nades, the better. But always be prepared for a T who could have had a 6 spawn. Our performance at Cologne wasn't good. Obviously, we had a tough draw with Vitality and G2, but I still would say that we underperformed pretty heavily. Uh, there were some reasons to it. Um, like, we had a very tough ske schedule uh, in the first part of the year. We went deep in every single tournament. Uh, we had to play a lot of qualifiers for Blast and the Showdown, which meant that we had, I think, out of all the teams, uh, the most maps played of any top 20 team. So there was fatigue uh, and one player had a bit of burnout sadly, so we couldn't really uh, give our maximum at the end of the season. Uh, that obviously sucks, but it, it, it kind of is how it is with, uh, with how things went prior to this. We get back underway. Heat trying to fight in this series and get back into it against a team that's looking rather jovial and relaxed in the form of Ents. And for good reason. They've had their way in the server so far. A uh, bit of rounds or you know, a few in a row, I, I guess we should say, for Heat to give them some life in that first half, but it just wasn't enough at the end. And the economy broke away from them right at the bitter end to give away two rounds. Yeah, I, I think it's been a great opening half for Manson on top of that. I mean, no reason to not be happy. You had Volta going off on Dust2 in the first map. Now you got Sun Pius having a phenomenal game. 15 frags for him so far, but the team is actually led by Snappy with 16. He's had some great entries. Pistol round for Heat. Rinse and repeat. Same thing as Entz. Same smoke being thrown. Snappy's gonna have a rough time. Blocked off, no information from him. Takes an initial shot, and Heat's gonna wrap around the Molotov into CT spawn. This time, though, they're gonna crunch towards the B bomb site. Cool. Jax gets absolutely destroyed by Dia. Volta goes underneath the stairs to try and survive. They're jumping down on both sides of him, and they'll make good on it. Like Dia followed up by Volta falling. Bomb planted. Heat looking all right in this situation. As Sampaio though trying to jump around, goes back out. Bomb's got the shot. Snappy knows exactly where he is and comes from the alternate angle. Dooley's. Oh, one gun for each player he has to find. Snappy. He wondered with Dooley's in the first half. See if he can follow it up. This time he's already got exercise down. He's on 34. Joko knows he's just got to play out the time, but the smoke's going to make the situation awkward. He saw him running over, taps it. Gets close though, Joko, and it's no joke that Heat have won the round. Third pistol for them in this series of four. Yeah, indeed. Third pistol. However, well, two of those, they ended up losing the second round, so we'll see if it follows true here. That would be a, that would be a crappy way to start the second half. 11 to 5. Nice little SWAT drop on each side of Volda. I like the play for Mets. All you really can do, that, that kind of split is coming in through CT spawn, and you take control of stairs, find yourself a kill, but those fights are still very difficult. Good on Heat to take control of that situation really quickly, really early on. Snappy doing his best Dooley's impression. Deep nade drop down the stairs. 11 to 5. All this nade can be brutal. 
The timing of it is everything. It's a flashbang. Excuse me here. Senpai has turned the corner. They return from it. Everyone's very low. They might want to get the hell out of that choke point because now Ents knows they're there and the nades are going to rain in. Snappy still working with that deagle. Afro very low. Could certainly fall victim to it. So the damage is there. So far, not nade. Oh, that's gonna bounce. Oh, it didn't bounce far enough. Every time I call it, I just need to stop. Maybe hold my tongue and wait for the ensuing damage to arrive, but it's body and joker that catch out snappy. Yeah, unfortunately, that's not able to, to kind of shift into a position or find any way to kind of clean up these kills on Jackson Afro, 19 and 23 HP, respectively, because they could have turned that round in a different scenario. Could have been interesting, but a good find from Heat. Good job working that A bomb site. They'll get a six round on the board. And importantly, the first time in the series, they convert a second round after winning the pistol. Booyah. Ba -ba 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 Booyah, baby. Jump around. Get up, get up, get and get down. Jump, jump, jump. Nice. That's a boomer song. Well, speaking of boomers, Jason, it's not just you and I, because it's also the bomb right now. Terrorists win. Would have been nicer if we could have heard it. Thanks, sound guy. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't really work out for me, did it? I actually appreciate that. Five round lead for Ents. No investment here in this next round. Stuck with the pistols they saved previously. Oh, excuse me. Snappy and uh, Madden do upgrade their pistols as well. No armor, no nades behind them. Just some of the other players are going to shuffle those flashbangs around. Round number 18. Dio waiting with the 5.7. Nearly got a gift heading up the gopher Ooh. hole. That's not bad. Madden's gonna take out Joko. Doesn't see the other player on the stairs, runs away. Now he'll be heard doing so, so they'll be a little bit more comfortable. Vault is in T spawn already. Out. And they've salvaged an AK-47. This is a this can actually turn out to be really, really spicy. D as well holding an angle that he knows that they've possessed before. So if they try and rotate back. At the moment, Heat is feeling very much like they're being funneled towards this A bomb site. It's the only place they, they can really go where they know there's not any kind of immediate danger, but there is three player stack here. Boost up as well with that AK-47. Madden's just gonna bide his time. That footstep will be heard. Diha closing the map. I don't I don't think there's any real reason for anyone to shift away from this A bomb site at the moment. Although Enz is considering it. See it. Dia was aware. That's bomb! That's huge, because it's gonna pull him all the way back. And sure, he may not want to take this fight, he's gonna catch them out. Goes around against Exercise Body. Couldn't spot him fast enough. Dia has bought so much space on the map. 38 seconds, Afro desperately needs to get involved. Made a pistol, send a pistol in with wild abandon, but nobody's there to follow it up. Madden is trying to sneak his way around. Afro can hold all this off. Afro needs to be the saver at, if savior at the moment. He can keep some kind of protection, but not from the backside. Not from the flight that's come in. Body might get caught behind the smoke. 18 seconds on the clock now. They're running out of time to make this work. And Snappy's being aggressive. Volda to follow it up, and into a one-on-one -on -one we go. Afro, nine seconds, has to commit to this bomb plant. Seven, six, no faking, no getting away from it. And Megan knows the angle he had, but Afro's got the shot instead. Now we're seeing the heavy hits come out from him. 12 kills in this particular map, and it's 11-7. That's a two-on-four recovery. Heat, uh, they, they get bailed out. What a great round from Afro. That's actually huge. This is the bomb going down behind them. This, this play, rounds. this play, yeah, this should, this felt like the play that there's just no way to recover from that, no way to lose it. So much damage dealt, so much time being bought. Just Ant's not able to find a clean way to rotate back over. And look at Jax, he's getting hyped up. Here we go, Madden. Initial defense hits stairs. He's working there with Diha. Valda and Snappy to control the A ramp. Afro, the nades. Volda's well, tagged down to 71. Snappy's gonna take up the same position and try and throw a nade back that'll do damage onto body. It's Afro that comes out worse for wear, though, on 84. Although on the AWP, I'm sure he's fine. 
maybe this is a confidence thing as well. We mentioned the fact that in the first half, Jax was holding onto that AWP more frequently on the CT side. He was using the rifle. It got him going. T side, he's like, all right, let's go. Give it back to me, baby. I'm going for the kills. He's leading the way. Well, I was going to say he's leading the way. Body's on 13, excuse me, but ratio-wise, he's leading the way. Sure. And everyone knows on Twitter, ratios are all that matter. Yeah, that's the, that's the important thing. One for one for Snappy. Valda's gonna look over the top of the smoke over the edge. And whoopsie, lucky to be alive. Gonna back away. Afro almost able to pick him off on the retreat. Four on four. Really, really light on nades is this defense. No kits picked up either for anyone on the CT side. Really passive setup at the B bomb site. Some Pius a deep angle in towards middle and Diha playing very far back and even giving up the site altogether. Afro just threw a mean fake at A. It's pulled everyone off. So if anyone from Ents wants to actually contend for this round, it's got to be Sun Pius. Good shot. He starts it. Oh, my. I thought he was going to get the double. The lineup. They were there for it. But Joko's got the kill instead. Afro's going to follow it up. Time. But Bob is being planted. At five seconds, the plant began. So it's down with two to go. Madden's going to work his way back in. No, he's going to grab the AWP and just get out of it. If they didn't have that smoke, that could have been a really dangerous situation. That might have been a, a lost round. Good job with the smoke to extinguish the Molotov and get the bomb planted before time expires. 11 to 8. Heat is fighting back. It's going to be four rounds straight to start this second half. And you're right, that did feel like Sun Pius was maybe a quarter of a second away from another kill. Maybe even line up a double. And Bonnie's got a little grin on his face. Yeah, I mean, it's great to see them playing this way. All right, so we're at we're at Blez's scoreline, 16 to 8. Or 8 rounds, I should say, for Heat. Okay. Did they have to put scoreline on it as well? They didn't have to, but okay. he... He chose to make chose life to. difficult for himself. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. And this is the guy that thinks that Asia deserves more minor spots or RMR spots than Ooh. NA. So. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't help him, can you, Jason? Uh, not always. You do your best, though. No, I just give up on them. <laughs> Round 20, 11 to 8. Three round lead. But Heat's T side is starting this half off really well. Matt and another opening kill. It's the second time they've gone for the quick ladder play that it's actually been countered. It didn't amount to a kill, but we saw the 5-7 from Dia a few rounds ago holding that position. So obviously there's some aggression toward middle uh, from Entz. And it's not like there's a lot of a playbook to read against Heat. They just certainly know that they want to control and contest. Nade came out. It didn't kill the player that was at Sandbags somehow, but the kill doesn't sue, and we go four on four. Snappy's going to swing around and try and make amends for that. Yeah, Mavaldo was a little overexposed. was a little bit too wide on Sandbags. That's a bit brutal. Didn't expect to be able to get tagged down like that. Was forced into a wide swing. Snappy's looking around the edge of that smoke as well. They should be able to hear the footsteps. This is going to be a tough round for Entz. Snappy dinked up. You got to be calling for reinforcements at feel any moment. Madden's still looking towards middle. Hasn't started the jump towards the A bomb site just yet, but he will be now. Snappy falls. Tobias still waiting with the AWP scoped in, ready. No mistake in the first spot. So, why, why? I'm not going again, man. Knows that Afro was there. Good name. It's going to take him down to 39, Afro. Has to be careful with that AWP. Joko, meanwhile, is going to go all the way back around, and we turn our attention to Afro, who's found the new angle, knowing some Pius was pushed off. Yeah, but they've just they've just kind of faked out Ents, who have no information and were not comfortable in any kind of a setup whatsoever. So, I mean, he kind of hits the brakes. They pause, they get passive, and that makes Ents think they're falling back to the other side of the map, to the other bomb site. That pulls all the defense away. Shot. Success. Ooh, Pius finding it. Damage on Joko as well. Jack's falling. 21 HP to find three. Bomb ticking in his favor. First shot is incredibly accurate. Nails headshot angle, but they swing in succession. Deal with the kill. And finally, on the board again is Ents. They'll take their time. They're going to grab some utility and weapons before they get the defuse. But they'll find the 12th round. That round is all Sun Pius. Two kills and even a really brutal quick shot to tag the final player, Joko. Not allowing him to get into the clutch whatsoever. This is a great round, and it all started like this. Valda tagged up, forced out into the open. Body finds that kill. Sun Pius wisely holds back from the repeak, been able to just deliver some really nice shots. 12 8.
That's with the lead. Just tuning in, this is the first day of Group C at ESL Pro League. Had some good upsets earlier today. Complexity beating Astralis was a nice one. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, that one went the distance as well. Three overtimes required in map two. Astralis actually on uh, overtime two, if I'm not mistaken. Had map point, couldn't close and convert that. And that would have yeah. been series point in that case, obviously, as Complexity came back to win the third. So Mal's taking down uh, Heroic earlier today also. It was a nice little upset there. Heroic looked a little, I think everyone's a little surprised at seeing that level out of Heroic. I'd like to see them improve as this week goes on. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, look, they seem to be enjoying themselves on a social level with this event. I've seen them at the pool, and and, and, and I don't mean that to say that, you know they're not practicing, but they do seem in a good place uh, mentally as a team. They just need to get it going in the server. When in Malta. Oh, it's hard not to. Get in the pools. Or the, the sea. Just the water in general. Ooh, this peak for Diha off the pop flash. Joko's dodging it. By an anti flash. Molotov comes out as well. Madden's ready for mid presence. Molotov comes in, and Jax wants nothing to do with it. He's held out into the open. He doesn't like that. You're susceptible to so much utility. Just back away. But a lot of pressure being applied by Heat on a mid attack towards the B bomb site. He's making this end's defense nervous. Third player shifts over. A lot of utility spent by Heat, though, where they don't get what they want. They've got enough for one more re-exec. And that helps. Opening pick provided by Afro. I is still trying to find the angle at B. Going more and more passive in his position each moment in the round. There's not many left. 34 seconds, in fact. The rest of the tees at the ramp. It's body to lead the charge. Oh, this round's over. This is such a great call from Heat. Joko's got such an advanced position, and they just apply so much pressure, make so much noise towards the A-bomb site with utility and footsteps, and Joko just says, come on back. Problem is the time. 17 seconds. You still have some pious with an AWP sliver gap to play, and the rotations are faster for CTs, as we know. Joko's got the important kill, Volda. He's gonna follow it to body. Smart incendiary and Molotov on top of window, because that allows the ball plant to go down uncontested. And you mentioned it, Joko's position. Well done, Jason, to spot that. He goes forward and cuts off the rotation as well. That's so disgusting. You'll just never expect that kind of a timing. He just, he just wasn't ready for it. What a good call from Joko, or whoever called it on the heat side of things with his position being there. Just fake the A bomb site. You know it's going to pull them away. You know it's going to give the space for an advanced position to become impactful. I think we heard at the end a timeout being called from Ents as soon as this round is over. No, excuse me. It was a uh, player disconnecting. So we'll be right back in. 12 to 9. Interesting. Heat is making a game of this. Already back. The, the tech may actually. Um... It's not needed. He's got money. I was going to say, it may already have been called. And preset into the server but yeah they'll just get right back underway you got in before the round actually rolled over so got the money everything's fine now we're at maui's predicted scoreline he said one more than blez he's playing the uh prices right what a guy god <laughs> so esports man fourth time out used by heat talking things over they've won five of six rounds played in this second half no weapons, no drugs or alcohol, no music. That's, I mean, I guess if you're working on a construction site, music might distract you. No explosives, interestingly enough, and then it moved too quickly for me to say the last one. I'd say we violated all of those because there's music on right now as well, Jason. Which yeah. Which means we're in a timeout. That intense timeout music. Interesting seeing them use their, their fourth timeout at this point in the game, considering they're on such a nice run, since they have won five of six in this second half. No tank tops or shorts. Wow, sorry, Freakazoid, you're not invited. Ooh, run boost, I like this. That is so, oh, I thought he was going down. I wish. Oh man, I was gonna say, that's so sick. He saw, I think, uh, yeah. he didn't get in there, but yeah, that just falls apart. Peace. Love the creativity, unfortunately. Is that a one Not board? everyone is an artist, okay? You can put paint on the canvas, but a finger painting by a five-year-old is not art, even if dad puts it on the fridge. That was a double dink. That was just two bullets fired by Dia. That's so brutal. Snappy, not able to deal with the terrain. Cleaned up by the SMG. They'll wrap around and try and recover the M4. But it's a four on three in the favor of Ents. Oh, 
Pius. Deagle going to get closer as well onto that scaffold position. Still the advantage to work with for Entz. Go, go, Gadget Arms. Nice. Inspector Gadget. Do you remember when the movie came out when we were kids? McDonald's had the crazy elaborate toy that you had to get each piece for. I did not. I, no, I didn't. I didn't remember I, that. No, I have the whole thing. It's great. And I'm the American. Volda close up is going to take down Jax with the SMG. Finds. Ooh, no, he doesn't. Finds a dink, but not the cleanup, not the kill. Afro down to six health. 30 seconds on the clock, and I think Heat's going to go for this one, but Afro might want to be a little bit passive, see if his teammate can provide him anything, and then save the AWP if needed. But he's going to go down to Sun Pius. Exercise turns the corner. Couldn't find any clean fights or clean kills in a 13th round for Entz. 13th indeed. It's taken them a while. They're still not there yet either. Heat's really put up a battle, considering this is Entz's map choice, but. <laughs> I love the, the confidence to go for it. Just didn't work out for them. But now their their economy is going to be a problem on the heat side as they get broken down. Yeah, which is a bummer because they just they just broke Ents, right? Like there was some weapons picked up in that round. We had an M4 on Snap, you had an SMG in Volda, but a lot of pistols as well. So you had you had the defense and the breaking point. That's gonna make this feel just extra brutal if you're heat that you miss an opportunity to maybe get yourself in a position to win this game. They're gonna try and have some kind of a response. Fast pace up the A ramp, a good utility slows him down, and good clean rifle work shuts him down. 14 to 9. 14 to 9, and two to go for Entz to make this a 2 and 0. And wrap up day one of Group C. As you mentioned, Jason. It was upset day today. It's a great way to start the group. If you're going to have upsets, get them in early. It makes things exciting the whole way through. Yeah, yeah. Makes it real interesting. Real spicy. And of course... You saw that in some of the previous groups as well. Well, yeah, and Complexity, being the team to upset Astralis, will play against Heat tomorrow as Entz will take on Heroic. So, yeah, it would make things a bit interesting between those two games. Complexity could find themselves in a great position to start off the group. Snappy trying to fire into the smoke down the ramp. Not going to fire any many damage. I was going to say any damage, but many damage. He does get a bit onto Afro as he falls off. Ooh, Snappy switches to the pistol. Maybe just out of surprise. His teammates got him covered. Five on four. Afro can't get anything done close up. And Exercise is going to take the moment to sneak up towards middle. On a collision course with a couple of defenders. Double kill from Body, and there's the position. Diha does recover the scenario. It's going to slow things down. Snappy spots Body. He tries to beat him around the boxes to go for the headshot, but Body had fallen off too far for that angle to be successful. They heard a flashbang pop and they saw Snappy. They might realize there's two people in the vicinity. Body's aware. Body heard him drop, unfortunately. He's just too far out, Snappy. So just Dia. Each might survive to get double digits. And not only that, but with the money on the board as it is. Okay, hang on, ball not planted. It's sitting down on the deck. 30 seconds to recover it. I was gonna say, money as it is, they'll be in a fine position in the next round. They do lose that third rifle that was sort of the threshold, so to speak, but it doesn't matter because they're gonna be all into the end. Four between them and two to go for Entz as Heat finally hit double digits. It's not a bad round whatsoever. Great, great job from Body to just really kind of recover that. It was a, five, it was a four on five and he turns it into a four on three. Pretty quickly. They're trying to re-aggress. Good transfer. Immediate headshot on Sun Pius. Gives him the time to swap over. Finding that kill as well in the mid-round as Snappy's trying to get creative. A chance. Now remember, he has used all four of their timeouts. This has all got to be done on the fly. Makes it all the more impressive. 14-10. Madden's already fallen. This would be a phenomenal round for Heat to win. There's no more money. Again, previously they'd, they'd reset the Ents economy, then win with a low buy. They would love to have that opportunity again. Just get it right back. Oh, he's still working his way toward the site. Keep the heat on. Get the pressure going. Snappy the closest toward. A at this point. Need to bounce that off the scaffolding. The 
pillar perfectly as it catches out Afro, but he's going to be smoked and flashed and desperately spraying in. And I do believe he would not have seen the cross, although anticipates it. Obviously, in the spectator model, we get blinded less than the players do in that sense, so he may have seen less than what we did. And he's going to back off either way, conceding the bomb plant, Heat in a great position to find the 11th round. Well, this is this is getting spicy. I, we, I don't think anyone, after, especially after the first map, really expected to see this out of heat here on the Vertigo. Very, very cool stuff. They have their 11th, and Ence is just going to live to fight another day, or try to. Here we go, round 26. And still holding on to their timeouts. I think they've used one. Haven't really had any any true problems in this map, it's felt like, until just about right now. We'll see them call a timeout on the defensive side to talk things over and make sure they don't let this one slip away. And interestingly enough, we're at the point where we, we can mention it, should mention it. If needed, we go to Nuke to decide the series. And Boom. at 14-11, nothing is concluded. 14-11 in an interesting monetary situation for Ents. They're going to have to replenish some nades on a few players, rebuy a rifle for Madden, drop something over to him. It's going to be a 5-7, so trying to preserve what money they can. Ents is basically calling this timeout to talk through economy for the, for the last, what, five rounds of this game and just say, no matter what happens, we want to avoid a complete reset. Let's make sure we always have some funds in the bank, so time to start thinking save if we need to. Got some rounds to play with, but Heat is challenging. Afro gonna take an angle early on with the AWP. Blocked off by smoke and flashbang. For an angle above the box is Afro. Nate? Yeah, that's gonna be pretty good. I think Jax is out in front of that position. Okay, look, I've done it again, because it's not good at all. Oh, snappy, oh my! Good shot from Afro. Turn it around, scoped it in. And removed the old snap from the corner. Ooh. I can't believe... How did he get away from that? I, I don't know how he does it. Not only that, he turns around to find two bullet down. And it could be 15 rounds now as Madden gets aggressive. Afro falls. Madden on just that 5-7, the timeout, yielding results. Exorcist, the only one alive. And even though he can close down on scaffolding, Vold has already shuffled up the wall. He's going to find the kill. Yo, that looks so uncomfortable for Valda. It didn't look like he wanted anything to do with that fight. Like, he even understood or, or was prepared for any of the angles and the shots that come out after that are just so precise. That's disgusting. As soon as he hears the off-miss, though, he knows he can repeat at least one. Yeah, just magnificence from Valda. 17 kills for him on the map. Followed up, following up a phenomenal dust two. And out of the timeout, ends get to 15. They now have four chances to close out this map and close out this series. Snappy, kill over the flames. Gonna back off as well, a little bit of deep utility. Valda still had an off angle provided by some smoke and after with the pre-fire still can't win. Valda's hitting some bangers to close out Vertigo. Yeah, he's had enough. Builds into this one late, up now to 18 kills. Dia with a nade over toward the beast there. It's a little bit early to do damage to anyone in a group, but Joko's there just waiting for the information. As his teammates rotate back around that direction, no flank yet from anyone over on A. I say yet because you've got appropriate positions in play here from both Snappy and some Pius that could potentially You've got, you've got two Molotovs, which means you can clear out Diha's position, which can be so strong if you don't have the utility to deal for it. There's no smokes on Diha or Madden, who are the initial defenders. There's a Molotov towards Diha's position. He's got to swing out, takes damage, doesn't get away, but Madden's in the same spot, and Joko did not expect that. Good flash. Madden had to get down. He does, manages it. Oh, inside the Molly. It bounced off the pillar, and that's going to give him the chance to play on both sides of it. He'll close it out 16 to 11 ends.
It took them a while, and you got to give credit to Heat for making that game go long, but they get away with the 2-0. Yeah, it was cool seeing Heat challenge there on Vertigo, which we didn't get on Dust 2, but even better if you're an Ents fan. Man, Valde looked good in this team. Man, Sun Pius looked good. We'll see how good they look against some of the tougher competition coming up later in the group. But either way, good 2-0 for Ents, and we're off to a break. The desk is going to close out the evening, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.